the Chinese mini lathe has arrived. I look at this Chinese mini lathe in the way that I'm sure my wife looked at me when we first met. He's a man with potential. He's basically what I want. He has the capacity to do what I want, but there are many things about him I'd like to change. So she set out over the years to change and mold me into the man I am now. It's basically what I want. It's cheap. It fits into the space that I have for it. I only need it to do some small jobs. Now I'm no expert, but I can see it has some issues. The lead screw clamp, the half nuts, they don't lock in properly. And as it does lock in, you can see it's bending the lead screw up. Everything is stiff, nothing, nothing travels smoothly. So initially I'll look into the mechanical side of everything to make sure that all the slides run true. Um, we get the maximum stiffness out of everything, but yet maintain ease of operation. And once the mechanical side of the mini lathe is uh, to a point where I consider it's good enough, I will then probably move further into the electrical side and beef up the motor, maybe look at the gears and see what we get from there. Obviously a quick change tool post is in order, um, some tooling, some new hand wheels would be nice. These plastic things are terrible. They come pre-cracked, which is fabulous. <laughs> the old, uh, the unscrewing knobs on these are uh, something to behold. But all in all, there's nothing here that uh, appears to be too hard to tackle. Um, it'll be quite interesting. I quite enjoy doing this type of thing, as I guess most of us do. It's a bit of therapy. Gets you out of the house. Gets you away from the missus. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, keep watching and we'll see where this goes. Let's tear this sucker apart. Yeah, I was hugging a tree when a lady at the zoo was amused by me. I said, hey girl, you think I'm cute to see? You're cute too, so come and get yourself introduced to me. She got closer. I said, listen, you look like your life's good, but one thing's missing, it's me. I might be the wrong species, but love accommodates for many different niches. So don't let it trouble you. I may be an animal, but I'm a fanatical cuddler. She wanted to snuggle. I told her I'd love to. I said I'd climb down, then I'd come and climb up her. I want to ride up on your back like a rucksack. What's that? You like my tummy? Want to touch that? Tickle it. My first soft, come and jiggle it. I'll wrap my paws around till you're in the thick of it. Yeah, I wanna squeeze you nice and tight. Then hug a little harder. And love you like koalas do. I wanna snooze in the sunlight. Then nap a little harder. Wanna hug you like koalas do. Be taking pictures of the platypus cause you will need your wrist for hugging me to bits what flavor are your lips cause i don't want to risk a lick if they are anything other than eucalyptus yeah but let me give you a hug i want to show you some love and nuzzle up in your bust i may be a marsupial but girl you're beautiful it doesn't matter that our genes are unsuitable i'm not a bad but i want to get bare with you yeah i want to get bare with you
am I going? You know I don't know. I guess I'll just go where the bus driver goes. So here you have it. Piece by a dirty, rotten, filthy piece. The main mechanical components that make up the Chinese mini lathe. So, what I will attempt to do is devote time to each individual component and I will try and work with what I have to get the most out of each individual piece as it goes back into the assembly. Everything's been bagged and tagged in the way of hardware, smaller components, housings and whatnot are over the other side. Uh, so in the upcoming videos, this is where the focus will be. Once each individual component is restored to a, uh, a more usable condition, I'll then move on to the electrical side of it, possibly converting it to a DC treadmill motor, uh, maybe going for a bigger chuck, uh, better a new quick change tool post, probably do a tearing mod to the headstock, so hopefully it will become more than a Chinese mini lathe. It will become a Chinese mini lathe. I might even give it a coat of paint just to hide it. So it blends in better with the workshop. All right, so tune in. I'll try and move reasonably quickly to re uh, release new videos and we'll see how it ends up. And eventually at some point we might actually be able to turn a bit of metal. How good will that be? Making chips. Not the potato kind, the metal kind. Bit rougher on the gums, but still good. All right. Now I guess I've got to flip a coin to see which piece we work on first. Thanks for watching. Which one, damn it? Eeny, meeny. Miney Mo. Catcher. No, he can't say that. Eeny meeny. Miney Mo. Catcher. Mini lathe. By the toe if he. No. Eeny meeny. Miney. Oh, bugger it. I'll just. I'll start with that. God damn it. Piece of shit. I hope this doesn't void the warranty.